to This Week at Pearl for Monday, April 6th. This is Mrs. Fullerton and Mrs. Bollinger reporting for Week 4 of Distance Learning. Congratulations to this week's winning raffle winners. Paige Carson was the lucky winner of an UNO game and Aiden Juarez won his whole 5th grade class when these frosty freezes. 5th grade? Mm. Those are really good because they come in chocolate too. Anyway, this week is Good Friday, so the next live drawing will be on Friday, April 17th. So keep getting those reading slips in. This week's field trip is actually a suggested real field trip or staycation to the Arcadia Arboretum. The Arboretum is still opened and is a wonderful place to visit in the spring for a nice nature walk and is still open to a limited amount of guests to ensure social distancing. Just remember to buy your tickets online ahead of time. And this is one of my favorite places to go. I go there often with Mr. Fullerton and I take lots of pictures when I'm there. And if you go, the peacocks all have their tails. They're all feathered out and they look beautiful now. Last week's art challenge was to draw an ice cream tower like this one. Everyone who did will receive an a yogurt land certificate to celebrate after quarantine. You can still turn your ice cream tower in any time before the end of quarantine to receive your certificate. Hey, Mrs. Moore, can teachers do that? This week's activity is to make an origami bunny and hide it using camouflage only. Kind of like the Easter bunny would. Take a picture of your hidden bunny and send it to Mrs. Moore to enter the contest. The link and complete instructions are on Mrs. Moore's Encore page under the School News on Grade Link. This Friday is Good Friday and begins Easter vacation. So we asked the teachers from, for some ideas they could share of a staycation this Easter break. All right, guys. So my uh, staycation idea, things you could do, uh, you can have your own at-home Olympics. A uh, couple events, maybe a uh, frisbee toss into some water bottles or some empty cans you have. You could, you could toss those. If you have Nerf weapons, you could do an archery shootout, like so. Or if you got a Nerf gun, check this thing. This thing's dope. Did you see that? Shoots pretty hard. You know, and if you don't have any toys, that's fine. You could do push-up contests. You can make your own little obstacle course with pillows and blankets and things like that. Anything, okay? Uh, say pie baking contest. I don't know, any sort of contest where there's a winner and a loser, okay? You gotta have both. One idea for a staycation activity is to do a scavenger hunt. So a scavenger hunt is where you have a list of items that you need to find. Uh, it could be around your house, could be in your backyard. You could make them for each other um, see who can find the most items in the fastest time, or you can even find lists on Pinterest. If you look up uh, scavenger hunt at home, or you could probably find scavenger hunt in your backyard. There's plenty of ideas out there. Alright guys, another idea you can do um, while you're on your staycation is to play games, but with your friends on Zoom. Alright, I got this idea for my daughter, Brooklyn, who's two, and she had a Zoom game session with her friends, her nursery school friends. They all got on Zoom and they played games like, okay, who's the first person that can find something purple? And they all have to run and find something purple and bring it back and show each other. So for you guys, um, just basic games like even Pictionary, things like that, uh, charades. You can have your friends on Zoom and play with each other there. You can have the camera showing the board, whoever's drawing for Pictionary. Um, for something like hide and seek, you can have one person to hide. Um, if you have a parent or a sibling, they can take the camera around while they're looking for you. Okay, so it's like a live hide and seek style of game. Um, so if you can get a few friends on and play games together that way, sometimes that's more fun than just your family. Um, another idea would be haunted house. I used to like to play that when I was a kid. If it's nighttime, turn off the lights. Um, you can carry your camera, go around your house, and People try to scare you, okay, but your friends will be watching you take turns doing that. So if you get bored of playing uh, games with your own family, um, 
ask your parents if you can create a Zoom session, you know, connect with your friends and play some games together. My idea was that you could travel abroad with your family from your couch. So what you could do is you could pick a country and you could just explore it. And Mrs. Moore actually will have on her page a link where you can print out a passport and it has different things you can uh, color and fill out like your name and your information. You can put a little picture on there of yourself and you can even color the flag and learn a little bit about that country. And then you can pick a movie that goes with that country and do a theme night that way. For example, if you want to go to China, then you could do maybe watch Mulan or a different movie. There's lots of options, especially through Disney. And you can also incorporate food with that night, like you can get Chinese food or make Chinese food. You can also design some dragons at home that you want to do or play Chinese checkers. And if you're really inspired, you can do a whole Chinese acrobat show with your family. Please share that video if you do that. We would love to see it. All right, have fun exploring and traveling with your family. Bye. Those were some great ideas, but my family's all time favorite is backyard camping. Now, in this picture, you can see that we're in tents, but if you don't have one, you can make a blanket fort, like some of the students in second grade did. The important thing is to get outside, enjoy nature, be together with your family, and make sure to watch the sunset. We miss you and want to wish everyone a happy Easter. Remember, the next pickup drop-off for sc of schoolwork will be on Friday, April 17th from 4 to 6 p.m. due to Easter break. This is Mrs. Fullerton and Mrs. Bollinger signing off for this week at Pearl.